Today, I will be telling the story about the apples of love. Atlanta, like Artemis, loved no men, though many men fell in love with her because she was so graceful when she ran. When she was born, her father had cruelly abandoned her in the wilderness, for he had hoped for a son. But she did not perish, for a she-bear heard her cries and carried her gently to her den, nursed her, and raised her with her cubs. Years later, an astonished huntsman saw a girl racing with wild beasts through the woods. He caught her in a snare and brought her home with him. Soon she learned to talk and act like a human, and her foster father was very proud of her fleetness of foot. He took her to athletic games, and she won all the races. Her fame spread over Greece, and now her real father proudly reclaimed her as his long-lost daughter. He was a king, and a king's daughter could not be allowed to run about unmarried, so he began to search for a suitable husband for her. But Atlanta did not want a husband. To be left in peace, she said she would only marry a man who could beat her in a running race. However, anyone who raced her and lost would forfeit his life. That would scare all the suitors away, she thought. But she was so lovely that many suitors tried their luck anyway, and they all lost their lives. One day, a young prince whose name was Melanion came to court her. He was smarter than the others. He knew that he could not outrun Atlanta, so he sacrificed to Aphrodite and prayed for her help. The goddess of love, who wanted to see all pretty girls get married, gave Melanion three golden apples and told him what to do. When the race began, Atlanta, certain that she would win, let Melanion have a head start. When she caught up with him, Melanion threw a golden apple at her feet. It glittered so beautifully that she had to stop and pick it up. Soon she overtook him again, and Melanion threw the second apple, this time a bit farther away. She left the track and made a dash for the apple. When again Melanion heard her light footsteps behind him, he threw the third apple far into the bushes. Atlanta just had to have that one too, and before she found it, Melanion had crossed the finish line. So he had won her, and they were married, and Atlanta treasured her golden apples and loved her clever husband dearly. They lived happily for many years and never forgot to honor Aphrodite, who had brought them together. But they did not show proper respect to Zeus, who, and he changed them into a pair of lions for punishment. For the rest of their lives, they ran as lions, hunting side by side through the woods.